Hello everyone. So today, let me show you how I generate a beautiful, good looking uh, document from uh, org file. Now, when you're working with org file, you can do a lot of wonderful things. You can uh, use your org file for doing task tracking and for keeping track of your notes. I keep all of my notes in org mode, but sometimes or from time to time, you also have to export your uh, org files. For example, if you want, you can actually publish a book using org mode. And uh, it is, of course, possible, you can do that. And uh, if you just want to share your org file with someone, you can actually generate one HTML file. By the way, if you want to post or publish a blog or a website, that is also a possibility because uh, when you export your uh, org file, one individual file, that is, of course, one HTML that you can generate, but you can also configure your org mode to actually generate this uh, ex this HTML file from not just one org file, but from your entire folder. And today, I just thought I'll probably talk about uh, making beautiful HTML files. Now, when you are uh, dealing with org mode files, uh, of course, you have this file where you can have different, uh, you know, I mean, when you export it, it will look like uh, a simple, nice, elegant document, but uh, some people prefer some, you know, style. And what you can do is, uh, when you're working with org mode, you have the option to specify the style sheet, and uh, you can actually specify the location of uh, a CSS file. That is, of course, uh, a possibility, but there are some uh, themes, or basically there are some uh, packages that you can download, nothing but, uh, you know, uh, folder that you can place somewhere on your computer and uh, that particular uh, package will uh, make sure that your uh, uh, org file is using uh, the style that you want as per this particular theme so for example right now i'm using this uh, theme called uh, theme read the org something so basically it's a theme which i downloaded and you can actually place this uh, in your uh, home directory, wherever you want. So I have my own, my, my own home directory. Let me show you. So if I want to basically make a change or basically I, I can actually use my own HTML or, or not HTML, but my own CSS, which I do for my own personal blog. But if you are creating a document, because right now I'm, I'm uh, working on this uh, mastering groovy, where uh, I'm uh, writing this, uh, this post or a book, you can call it a book, uh, on Groovy, which is a language. And I'm using org mode because uh, I am also using uh, the the uh, literate programming org babble so that I can actually execute my Groovy code uh, in my org file and also generate the output in the same file, which is wonderful and amazing. And uh, I've, I've basically, you know, made videos on this particular topic. So let me show you this, uh, this theme. So if you look at uh, this particular theme, it, it is nothing but, uh, you know, uh, I mean, there, there is a style, there is a folder where all these CSS is stored, but if you look at the setup file, it is nothing but, uh, you know, these op the, these headers. And by the way, you can actually use uh, the the same approach to uh, make sure that your uh, uh, org file is also using a specific CSS file. So this is something that you have to do. Uh, you can also use uh, this the same method to insert uh, JavaScript, which is uh, wonderful, by the way. And... Uh, let me do the export. So if this is the file, and of course, you know, it's a simple file, it can have images or whatever you want. For example, in this particular file, I have my code. Now, if I do an export, control C, control E, I can, uh, of course, export it to HTML, but let us export it to uh, uh, HTML file and also open the HTML. So if I do H O, it will, of course, take uh, Sometime, couple of seconds, maybe a bit more than a couple of seconds. It depend it depends on on how many code blocks you have, but uh, it will uh, generate the file for you, and it will also okay. So I think uh, I have to because there is a file already. So I'll do yes, and if you can uh, see here, this is the wonderful file with uh, the CSS inside the HTML. So I don't have to do to worry about. By the way, uh, if you're publishing to your own uh, website, you can now also link uh, this to a CSS file. But right now, of course, all the style is in like within the, within the same file. So this is the HTML, and if I show you the actual HTML, this is uh, the, the the 
the HTML file. And if you look at a normal, let, let us look at the normal, uh, let us look at the normal uh, post, normal file that you can generate. So this is, of course, a, very, a bit simple. If you look at this particular, uh, uh, let, let me open one of the file where uh, I do have uh, a bit more than a uh, few lines. So I think this particular page, if you look at this, it is not bad. I personally like it because I mean, I'm a bit old school and I don't really mind, you know, a simple, neat, elegant page, but it is not really for everyone. I understand some people prefer a bit of design. And if you look at this particular, uh, this particular <laughs> HTML file, it is actually using that uh, theme where there is a CSS, there's also some documentation and uh, uh, do take a look at this particular uh, uh, theme. I mean, you don't have to use this theme only. You can use anything, but the idea is that you can actually generate, uh, I mean, normal looking uh, uh, documentation because people prefer, I mean, most of the documents, if you read online, they are following a theme. I mean, usually they have uh, something like this, which I'm also using, but uh, I don't have to spend time doing it myself. I, I can just, you know, refer to refer to that particular uh, theme package and it will do the job for, me, job for me. You just have to, you know, ma make sure that that particular path is valid. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this uh, video. I just wanted to show you how you can generate this uh, good looking document using a theme uh, in your, uh, in your uh, org mode setup. So that is all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.